Uh, number one, we wanted to say thank you so much for being uh, avid supporters of the Sarlos and Sons Wine Club family. And today we decided to do something different. You guys have all been to our tasting room, to the house. So we decided to come out and show you where uh, your wines are born. Right now we're at Windmill Ranch and Vineyard uh, on my father's property. Uh, over my right shoulder, you can see the terraces uh, coming down the hillside. And over to my left, you can see the Ballard Block. And uh, to your right, uh, you would see uh, the Windmill Block. Uh, here on Charleston Sons Windmill Ranch, we grow Grenache and Syrah. Uh, all the Syrah that you're going to taste from Sarlos and Sons from Solo, which is father on it, uh, comes from these terraces. And you can see that these terraces are pretty steep, pretty difficult place to farm uh, by hand, pretty much everything we do. Uh, it produces a very stressful Syrah, a big, bold flavor, uh, strong in character. And that's because when we drop a little bit of water on the hillside, all the water kind of runs down into the lowest part of our valley. Uh, each one of those vines is very, very stressed, and they pump all of their life into each little grape that we crush and ferment and put into uh, our Syrah. has a picture of my grandfather on it. Uh, back in 1944-43, he's uh, laying down on his chest, enjoying life, prime of his life really, uh, enjoying a picnic. And we decided that it was pretty, uh, it was a good label to put on this one, not only to show the signif significance of something being alone, like a single varietal Syrah like we do, uh, but also on the back of the picture we flipped it over and in my grandmother's handwriting it said, Gill Before Marriage, uh, which is the next wine we're going to talk about. Sons El Camino Real Vineyard. In the foreground, you can see the bottle of 1946, the honeymoon, or the moon. We already showed you where your Syrah came from on your high terraces, so we thought we'd come over here and show you where your Cabernet Sauvignon comes from. This wine's kind of unique. Uh, it's a non typical blend. Uh, you don't see Cabernet and Syrah blended very often, and that just seemed to be the right thing for our family to do. We're not a very common family. We thought it'd be really nice to have in 1945 two different vineyards, two different names, two different varietals, two different personalities in both the label, my grandparents' wedding photo, as well as all of the wine. So in this one we have 1946 The Honeymoon. No longer do we have two separate names, two separate vineyards. They're both Sarlos. What we have in this one, which is kind of unique, is that we have a 60-40 blend. 60% Syrah from the Windmill Ranch vineyard and 40% Cabernet Sauvignon from our El Camino Real vineyard. What we did with this one, we made it 60-40 because uh, a little uh, kind of running joke in our family is the only way any good relationship works is when both parties give 60% and only take 40. So what we decided to do with this one was make it a 60-40 blend. 60% Syrah, 40% Cabernet, uh, on the label, you'll see my grandparents' honeymoon photo. They were married in 1945, and this photo was taken in 1946. Going back to Solo, Solo, on the back of that photo, it said, Go before marriage. And that's exactly where we serve it. We serve it before 1946. we have the Brothers. The Brothers is a Bordeaux style blend. Now if you go to the Bordeaux region in France you'll look and they will 
plant the varietals that specifically grow well in Bordeaux. Then they'll pick them all, put them together in a bottle, and release their house wine, family wine if you will. A uh, unique aspect of the brothers is that this is a family. This is four different varietals all into uh, one bottle of wine that represents a entire property. So inside this wine we have Merlot, Cabernet Sauvignon, Cabernet Franc, and Petit Verdot. Each one of those wines on their own is kind of big, bold, unique, different, special. But because of all of them, and because of the region of France that they come from, when you blend them just right, you have something greater than the parts. That's why we chose to name this wine The Brother. On the label, you'll see my great, great uncle Harold, my grandfather, who's been in all three of our labels in this photo clip, uh, Elmer, and John. You might remember John from uh, the label Purple Heart. He was the one who died 14 days after the invasion of Normandy. We chose to put these boys on the label because, A, number one, this is the last time that all of them were together in a photo. Secondly, we wanted to honor them by thinking of their unique personalities uh, that differed so very widely. John was a warrior, Elmer was a farmer, my grandfather a businessman, and my great uncle Harold a public servant. Each one of them had specific characteristics and traits that were bred into them or raised differently or who knows what makes people different. And each one of their personalities allowed them to succeed in their chosen field because they didn't have to have the farming instincts because Elmer was a farmer. They didn't have to have the public service aspect because Harold was that. Grandfather took care of the business side and, and Great Uncle John was thick in his beliefs and wanted to go off and fight a war. Each one of those guys were a success because they had a brotherhood of individuals that had other character traits that they didn't have to have. So in this wine, we have unique characteristics of the Merlot, the Cap Sav, the Cap Franc, we as a family sat around, put together, made, so that this wine would be special and unique. Hi, this is Keith Sarlos for the Sarlos and Sons Family Winery. I hope you enjoyed our photo collection and look forward to giving you more in the future.